So this is the Philippines versus Thailand, the boxer versus Muay Thai. And let's get up and let's get ill, fight fans. Round one. Their stats Your are team. pretty yeah. similar. It's pretty interesting to see. We're going to have a look at the... Oh! oh. Jack Tan comes right in, rushes him up against the cage, puts him up again. And let's see if his uh, strategy is just to put the pressure on. See if the Filipino has a weak gas tank. It was interesting to see him fire off those hands against a boxer. Of I was course. surprised to see that. Now Luke switches him up, puts him up against the cage. Again, we got Looks our... like he's caught in a guillotine there, almost. Yeah. Jack Tan, the tie, putting on the guillotine. You can see Sebastian Catastan in the corner of the Legacy Gym. PXC welterweight champion. He's really trying to squeeze that guillotine in, but he's not got it. You can see Luke's arm is stuck underneath Jack Tan's left arm. He's not got that guillotine sunk in. He won't be able to sink it in right there. And then, and again, as we know, that doesn't cut off the blood. So right now, Luke Milenio actually in a safe position. Totally safe. And also, Jack Tan's spending a lot of energy here trying to pull a submission that isn't there. That lactic acid buildup that they always talk about into the biceps. Yeah. It's going to affect it. You can see Lee Livingston, referee on top of the action, making sure that choke doesn't go in there. And again, Jack Tan, he's not going to give it up, even though he's on the outside of the arm. He doesn't want to give it up. I, I, he doesn't want Luke on the, on top of him. Luke has good hands. He's got a powerful hands. He's going to strike down on him. But he does have him in his guard. So it's interting to see that a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, sorry, a Jiu-Jitsu black belt is holding a non-submission for so long. Here, here. Uh, you know, funny things happen inside the Full Metal Dojo. It is actually very interesting to see the progression of these Thai fighters' ground game. I Correct. find that very interesting that we've got a guy here who was willing to bring it to the ground because usually we get Thai fighters coming in and all they want to do is show off their might. Stand and bang. Stand and bang. Which is great for the fight fans, but it's it's great to see this progression where Thai fighters are willing to go to the ground. Again, yeah, man. Mark is, is saying it like it is. We've been here in the Full Metal Dojo in Bangkok, Thailand and basically watching the Muay Thai scene develop into the mixed martial arts scene and the mixed martial arts scene develop into the high level striking that we have here in Bangkok as we go into the scramble. Now it's important to remember here fans, we are allowing soccer kicks because we're under the global rule set so soccer kicks are good which changes the ground game. When you're on the ground Completely. and your opponent's on top of you, you've got to watch out for the feet to the head and it brings in a whole new dynamic. And you can see Jack Tan actually trying to use the legs though, possibly going for a triangle, he's still holding that arm, arm tight. He's got Luke Milenio's left shoulder and left arm inside, and, and, and Luke's raining down the, the hammer fist there. Great little bird's eye view of the dojo. For any of those out in the audience that have never been to Bangkok, Thailand, do yourselves a favor. Come here. Come here and train as well. Some of the best training camps in the world, especially down in Phuket. Lots of training camps down there. Completely. This is a nightmare of a round to score, in my opinion, because we have Jack Tan over here going for submissions that are not submissions. Right. So how do you score this, John? <laughs> well, again, it, it, it's a little bit of a stalemate. I, I, too, do not, I am never jealous of any referees or judges. Although we got the best in the game here in Southeast Asia, Oliver Cost, head referee. He does it for one championship. He does it for Malaysian Invasion. Ooh, as Jack Tan comes with the up kicks. Yeah. And now he's going for a heel. He's going for the legs. Yeah, he's moving around trying to get those submissions. Oh, those are some nasty elbows <laughs> coming down on the side of Jack Tan's body there. We like when it rains elbows oh. here in... Now that's going to take it out of you. It looks like Luke's game plan totally is to just ground and pound. He's not interested in going for a submission. He no. just wants to ground and pound this win out. And what's even more fun about it is he's, he's actually pounding to the body. Normally, obviously, everybody's a headhunter. You see Luke really warming up those ribs, not only with the elbows, but he really... Again, Ooh, nice elbow to the head big, there. Another, and another elbow to the, the body. Those elbows to the side of the body, man, those will take it out of you. That knocks the gas out of you. It just makes you want to bring your arm down and, and protect yourself. And now we have some soccer kicks out of the danger here. We've got to remember. Yeah, Mark's talking about the soccer kicks. Remember that we also allowed the uh, 12 to 6 elbow. Ooh, there's a soccer kick. Unfortunately, our referee was sliding the way there. Yeah. We couldn't get a good grip. But that was a soccer kick attempt. But yeah, we do also allow the 12, 12 to 6, 6 elbows. elbows, which is, again, it brings in, it's much more difficult to block a 12 to 6 elbow than it is to block an elbow coming from the side. Yeah, this is a, this is a pun, this is a play on words, but when they say that it's as, as real as it gets, Full Metal Dojo really is as real as it gets. Wow, I've got Luke really working the side of the body here. I, I wonder how Jack Tan's ribs are doing, because I am not jealous of that man there. He's going to feel that. No, and he's getting popped on the face as well. With 15 seconds left, though, I would assume that his corners, yelling for him just to hold on, wait it out until the second round. 
It's got to be disheartening for Jack Tan as well to go for so many submissions and not get them. Correct. And let's see how that plays out in his Crouching head. down, looking like he's really struggling for air. I agree with you. As we go into round two, I think a, a cardiovascular round will come into play here. And we can see he's going for half... For He's almost in half guard. He's trying to get... Luke's trying to free his left leg out there. And he's on top of him. This is exactly how round one Back into down. the same story of round one. Luke Millennial on top. Crushing the body blows, bringing huge elbows, and again, the, the the grappling techniques of Jack Tan is basically just survive. I mean, you can see him going for, for the attempts. He's bringing the leg where it needs to be for that triangle. But Luke Millenio is doing a, a great job of just just keeping it on the transitions, non-stop transitions from this part to that part. Really working the body of uh, Jack Tan. Yeah, Luke looks like he's really getting in, getting in the zone here and going to work on the body. But he's got himself caught in an interesting position here. That looks like they're going north to south. There's, yep. There's Kieran. Checking out our officials. <laughs> Best officials on the planet. Jack Tan continues to fire down. Or no, Luke Milenio, excuse me, continues to fire down that right hand. See now, I don't know what Jack Tan was trying to do there. He didn't have anything and he was just eating a bunch of punches to the face. I don't think you want to do that. Is RF going to stop it? This looks like it could be the end, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the big the knees, coming. knees coming in. The ref's going to have to stop it. And it's all over. Wow, Luke. Luke Milenio, the Filipino, coming into the Full Metal Dojo in Bangkok and just bringing the knees to the side of the body, side of the head. Lee Livingston, our referee, had seen enough. There, were The elbows just raining down. He just Lee Livingston, our referee in charge, will raise the hand of your winner from the Philippines, Uban Rajatani, Legacy Gym, Luke Molino. Weight action, and you can see these guys are young in the game, but the referee is old. Oliver Cost, head referee of the Full Metal Dojo. Round one, Yokimu. And we are underway. BK, how you doing, brother? I'm doing great, brother. Here we go. Happy to be here. Again, here in BKK, the fans are next to the cage. That's what we do. That's who we are, cage side and stage side. MMA and a party. Ooh, and a big left hook. Yeah, man. Chum Long, look for the striking. Again, looking for the striking. Of course we're looking for the striking when we have a guy named Fairtex in the cage with us right now. Fairtex famous around the world for their Muay Thai. And we are in the kingdom of it, the land of smiles. Bangkok, Thailand, you should come here. Looks like both guys starting off a little slow, just getting ready to feel each other out. I feel like that often happens with striker versus striker when it's in a Thai, in a Thai cage, you know what I mean? Uh, these exactly. guys, Exactly. they come from that background of Muay Thai. They like to stalk each other out. As we see a oh. takedown, takedown, red corner. A nice big takedown and he moves into uh, half guard. And I'd like to see him uh, possibly move into uh, side mount or mount as he just does. There he goes, and again, now he's gonna try to peel down the face and rain down those Fairtex gloves on the Fairtex opponent. Yeah, he's got good position. I'd like to see Fairtex uh, try to get his guard back. He needs to either go for a reversal or a shrimp to get the guard back. One of the things that uh, you may not know, BK, but I do is Chum Long, the man in the blue shorts on top, trains out of Shingi Dojo. So he, he does jujitsu, but it's Japanese jujitsu. Okay. And he actually speaks fluent Japanese. Oh, wow. Educated guy. As he looks for an arm bar, possibly. Well, can't get it. And a big elbow right there. Nice knee return from Chum Long. Very nice knee and a good escape. Uh, the attempt for the arm bar was a little sloppy, but... Um... Yeah, we're back on our feet and we're uh, brawling. Again, throwing throwing leather out there. Beautiful FMD gloves, by the way. Nice little jab. Exactly, a flurry, and again, comes with the knee. These guys always come in with the combination. Punches and bunches, that's what they do. That's what they were taught. Oh, a oh, nice big overhand big right. right. Hand. And he's going, and that will be the end of it. Oliver Cost had seen enough. So Mr. Oliver Cost, please raise the hand of your winner from two minutes and 15 seconds via KO. It's well over 150 fights each as the tail of the tape comes up and we are catch weight 150 pounds action. Checking out the FMD officials. And Dana Bluen starts the action with round one. Me and BK Brennan Kessler. 
How, How are you doing, doing John? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing, doing great, brother. I'm doing great also. Almost 400 Muay Thai fights between the two of these guys. Are you kidding me? Absolutely ridiculous. And uh, it looks like we're having a Muay Thai fight here uh, in the... Uh, with MMA gloves, if you will. Yes, Muay Thai with four ounces. I, I like it, actually, ah, I do. Very much enjoy it, as Yut comes in and shows off the elbows right away. I think goes to the body lock. A big difference right off the bat from Muay Thai. As we know, in Muay Thai, you, you normally pace out the first round. Yeah, it's not like uh, your traditional MMA where guys just start brawling. It's a, it's a slow start, especially in the first round. So, you know, if you're not familiar with Muay Thai and you're just getting in here uh, and seeing these guys start off a little slow like that, you know, that's that's kind of why. Well, uh, Top has got to be one of the most decorated people ever in the dojo, and we've had John Ha, the king of the ring in here before. I mean, again, this is an Omnoy champion, a Raja Nun champion, and now our blue corner fighter. Yeah, I mean, if you're, uh, that, that's basically as, as big as it gets, uh, you know, in, in the uh, Muay Thai leagues. For sure, for sure, especially here in Thailand, as Yut brings that vicious teep there, pushing top back. Uh, Yut trains out of Krug Dam. Ooh. Ooh, as he gets a couple shots to the face and the knees come up. And these guys know how to clinch. I mean, this uh, Muay Thai pummel, these guys know what they're doing in the Thai clinch. I've uh, been doing it since they were probably, what, seven years old? Yeah. Oh, big but, soccer kicks. Remember, those are allowed here in the dojo. I like how he used the Muay Thai for the takedown. And that, that's what uh, you don't realize some of these guys can do. I mean, they can actually use the Muay Thai clinches for takedowns. Yes, and again, uh, yeah, you, you saw it right there, actually. Again, he's trying to sweep, actually, to bring him down for the takedown. Exactly. Um, I mean, again, uh, how powerful are Thai fighters in terms of taking shots to the face, shots to the chin? It's just absolutely ridiculous how strong these guys are. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you know more about taking shots to the chin than I do. Yep. But, you know what I mean? But, uh... Bam! Coming in with a flying knee, top. Good gosh. Again, both these fighters so fast and so Muay Thai oriented. I mean, but look at, look at Yut. Is he going for a leg lock, possibly? Looks I don't know like if, he, possibly, if yep. he has uh, some jiu-jitsu training or not. So he has won uh, uh, MMA fight before, and uh, he did win that via Giti. Oh, so, very nice. So he's got some uh, some jit skills. Uh, with team, with the Raw team in BK, BKK guys. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, he's Raw team trained. I believe that's Phil over there. But you can just see the Muay Thai background in these guys. These guys are Muay Thai fighters. Of course. Um, but Yut does actually, he, he has done some full contact karate as well. Really? Yeah, man. So these guys are doing it all. He's taking body blows. Uh, well, again, top is at a Tiger Muay Thai now. Okay. So he's, he's trained down there with Roger Huerta, Alex Schild. George Hickman is also in uh, over there with them. And again, uh, yeah, you can see... Um, Yut is on the, on his back right now, and in his corner, uh, you can see right there is uh, Pond Comrade. He is a purple belt, I believe, at, at Raw Team. One of the higher level, as as Top comes in for the soccer kicks to the head. Yeah, he does not want to be here. Not in the FMD. When uh, soccer kicks are allowed, you know, you do not want to be taking a soccer kick by one of these guys no, to the face. No, you do not, as they trade elbows. Oh, and he and smiles ignores. at him, and uh, yeah. And These no, Cowboys aren't playing around. No, man. Did you see again where he came from, from with that elbow? I mean, way up high. Yeah, these guys know what they're doing when it comes to the uh, kicks, knees, and elbows. Coming in with aggression. You're Ooh. again a hammer and down one. And he's got the uh, body lock now. And as you talked about, BK, this body lock is uh, similar to the grind that we've seen in some other fights, you know what I mean? It, it really is just wear and tear, right? Very true, very true. And, and once these guys start to learn they're using their Muay Thai and start to use that for um, MMA, I mean, it really translates well, just like that right there, that Muay Thai takedown, and he uses it to a takedown. Game changer. Exactly. Game changer. And these are very different than, uh, than wrestling or than judo, you know? A little yeah, again, it's a sweep while you're, like, really, really paralyzing the upper body. Exactly. And, wh and when you have it done to you the first time, it's like, whoa, what the hell just happened? Yep. As you're on your back. <laughs> exactly. And when you have that done by a 115-pound man, it's, uh, it's kind it's paralyzing. of... Paralyzing. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Thailand. Welcome to Thailand. Bangkok. Left hand. Dana Bluen. Do coming up. 
Here we go, <clears throat> starting off again in this uh, Muay Thai pace. Yep, both feeling each other out as we go into round two. Big but shot at the Moven Pick and the Sheraton as an elbow comes <laughs> there from top in the blue corner. Sabai Gi trunks he's got on right there as opposed to the red corner with the blue Muay Thai shorts. And we are Muay Thai body locking it up, jacking him against the cage here in Bangkok. And he's looking for the takedown again. Yeah. And he gets it. And he's almost riding it into a mount. That's he is, yeah. Throwing nice elbows, mean elbows from the top position. Dropping it again. Again, Yut, let's see how his education is off his back. What's the level, buddy? What's the level? And the top seems to be holding this mount position. And loving that left elbow to the face. And it looks like he's going to trap his uh, right arm with his left knee. You see how he's doing that? Yeah, again, it would be great to see some submissions here by the top. He looks like he was almost setting up an arm bar, and now he tries to transition to the back, but ends up in guard. Correct, and again, I think if I was to uh, make an educated guess, I'm dead serious. I believe Yut is a little stronger in the jiu-jitsu as he starts raining down the bombs. And the, and the butterfly guard is in full effect. Oh, oh nice big head kick. Soccer kicks. Oh. Soccer kicks are happening. Nice throw by, and he goes for the leg lock. Yep, let's see. He's trying to trip him down. He gets it. Wow. What is the hand ties? Nice. Fighting for legs. Yeah, two guys with over uh, 400 Muay Thai fights combined, now in the 50-50 position, uh, fighting for uh, legs. Let's see what happens. Ooh, Yut. Yut is what happens as he comes up. <sighs> Trying to ride it. And he still, then we see Top go for this uh, leg lock position again. He, he needs to be uh, actually in the 50-50. His left leg is in the wrong position to go for that. What? Okay. And he's uh, paying the price for uh, doing exactly. it wrong. Is it raining Fairtex? I believe it's raining Fairtex in yeah, there. He is not in a good position. He's actually got his arm trapped with one of the legs. And again for the leg lock, he's going for a heel hook. This is amazing to see ties. He, he actually could finish this. If yes. He, if he would stick his other leg through, he, see his left leg is on the outside. He doesn't want that. He wants to stick it through and then lock it around, which he's starting to do. Okay. Now again, you know, does he, he has to stay aggressive, correct, BK? Yeah. Come on. He, As he's, he's receiving heels to the face. Yeah. And another oh. kick, another big soccer kick. And that's the problem with the leg locks. If you miss, you pay. Bro, that was a huge kick, and Top is still going. I'm very happy that Dana Blue and our referee in charge is on top of the action, because elbows are still coming. Definitely. Let's see if some knees will come now. I mean, that was a big soccer kick, and another big soccer kick. Doesn't even phase Top. Doesn't even phase the Tiger Muay Thai student. No, these kids are tough, man. Wow, a little oh. over-rotation. Ryan's up. Are we going for a <laughs> choke? What do we got? We got a head and arm? What? What's going on? BK? Well, it's like uh, he's trying to go for a side choke, but it's not quite properly locked in. So really, he's just got a, a nice uh, headlock, as we call it. Okay. <laughs> and we, the big brother headlock. Exactly. The old big brother headlock. Yeah, you know, every once in a while, it, it'll work. <laughs> exactly. It might be ugly, but it gets the job done. Okay, who do we got in top position here? Yut is back in top position. Yut, again, red corner, but in those blue trunks. And uh, top, Tiger Muay Thai's own in the Sabai Gi shorts. Both guys just rest a little bit now. They're expending a lot of energy. Again, this is another one of those fights that is turning into a marathon, not a sprint. I enjoy saying that because that's what the truth that's of the true, is. But they're, they're, they're keeping, keeping up a very good pace. I mean, both guys are going for it. Yep, and you can see again, battle of the hands and battle of the grind as top Almost tries to sneak out of this little big brother headlock yeah, and get his feet around. Uh, we call this kind of like a scarf position. Okay. And the problem when in it with MMA is <laughs> it's too easy to uh, get out. When you've got the gi, it's, uh, you can hold that position, but uh, otherwise it's too easy to escape to the back. Just and like you see does. Top. Yeah, exactly. Gets his head out right there, pops it out. He's in a bit of side control. And uh, he's got his arm tucked in between Yut's legs. Man, they've got a little bit of a pretzel going on right now. With the last seconds coming down here in the second round, the most awesome dojo so you, on the planet. You can knee, but you can't knee to the spinal cord, I believe. So yes, that's correct. why you're not seeing any knees to the back. No back of the head action. 
three, Yokti Sam, as they say here in Bangkok, Thailand. The real life Kumite underway with round three of a stand up war. Uh, not a stand up no, war. This has been definitely going, not. These guys are fighting all over the place. Completely going around the dojo as much as possible. Yut in the red corner with the blue Muay Thai trunks yeah. on. He's, he's coming out. You can see he's, he's ready to go. Yut's out there. He's and, uh, stalking. Yeah, Yut is always ready to go, by the way. We've seen this guy, and, and man, we've seen him fight Muay Thai before. We've seen him fight uh, amateur. And then I was with him for his first uh, MMA fight. Man, this guy is always... He just has one of those faces, too, that like, looks like he'll kill you. You know what I mean? He's just got the, <laughs> one of those guys. The natural, I'm going to destroy you looks. Just pushes guys back with his eyes. Correct. Yeah. A thousand yards stand. <laughs> I hit. Yeah, man. You and top again here in a third round. It's all happening here in Bangkok. If you've never been, you need to go. Put us on your bucket list. Oh. Big kick from Yut, and followed up by an elbow from Top as yeah. he brings him down. Now into the top position. Very nicely done. Ooh, soccer kicks to the head. Story of the fight. Story of the fight. It's all happening. So exciting. FMD, you gotta love the soccer kicks. You gotta love the soccer kicks. It's, mm -hmm. it's realer than as real as it gets. Exactly. I don't know if somebody can sue me for that, but that's what it really is. It's what you would do. That, that, this how I've been in a few street brawls, and if I can say, and, you know, it, it may happen. Exactly. You know? <laughs> if his head is right out there, you would kick it as... Yuk does an amazing job of levitating there back to his feet. I, I don't know. He didn't he didn't wall walk at all on the cage right wow. there. He just up and almost ends up. Wow, top back brings down. him over. Yeah. On his back, but that was shocking. Yeah, he's got the top uh, half mount. Trying to get out into a full side mount. Possibly a mount. Yeah, looking to get that leg out. Yut doing a good job of keeping his head. But I think from Yut that we're going to have to see a little bit more again. I, you know, I think it's 50 50 at this, at this mount, match, but it's 50 50 in this round. Yeah, it's tough. So it's, it's tough a very to say. tough to call. I would not want to be a judge uh, in this fight. Goalkeepers of MMA, as they were referred to. Lee Livingston looking on right there. He's another BKK black belt in the old Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, definitely one of the top uh, Jiu Jitsu boys here in uh, the Thailand area. And the officials and everybody at Cage Side very happy with Dana Bluen's call of standing them up and letting them go to it as we boil down to the last two minutes here in the third and final round. Two minutes to go. Let's see who wants it more. Completely. Who is willing to put in that little bit of extra effort as they trade kick for punch? Back to the back dirty, into dirty this grind. clinch, and he's got double underhooks and uses it for the takedown. And again, this is why I'm saying that it might be in Top's favor, is because although we've yeah. seen the trading of soccer kicks and a lot of great striking on both guys' parts, uh, Top is the guy who's getting this Muay Thai grab to trip to yeah, he, sweep. He's been using it for the takedowns the whole fight. Using you know? it for the takedown, and he's uh, grinding once he gets to this top position. You know. Mm -hmm. And as long as he keeps up those efforts, you can see why it might sway the judges. Again, as you've said, and as you know here in the dojo, we go by complete fight. Exactly, yeah. It's scored by the entire fight, not by round by round. Exactly, thank you very much. Which again, you uh, you have your opinions on this system, I have my opinions. Well, you, you like it, you don't? No, I, you know, I do actually, I, I do like it. I mean, it makes the fighters not uh, hold back in the third round. So let's say, let's say if you won the first two rounds, you know, sometimes the guy will uh, just kind of play it slow, play As it they safe. they are right there. You know? And Dana, Dana sees it and he'll stand him up. I mean, they're not playing it slow, but they're fatigued. Exactly. Yeah. So a lot of things are going into, into play right here. So, you know, this sort of judging uh, actually it's more exciting for the fans, and that's what we want, right? We want to bring great fights to the fans. That's what we do. Just put on a great show. It's exactly. who we are. Big left hook. And again, by Top knee. wanted to come and finish it up with the last 20 seconds boiling down here in the pot known as the Full Metal Dojo. Trading up the kids, little, yeah. A little, a little bit of Sanchai action, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right here. We're both from Thailand. Yeah, yeah. 
And they both hug it out. The Here sportsmanship always and flying around this dojo. To the blue corner. Top, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. You called it. It really was. It was that body lock, and he was using it around to get the, the takedown. And Fight fans and party people. If you enjoyed that, enjoy more full metal content and hit the subscribe button. Do it.